Hi, I'm Kathy Pere with the City of Santa Barbara's Water Conservation Program. We're going to show you today a wonderful, wonderful tool. It's called a rain shutoff sensor. Basically, it's an interrupter, so if your sprinklers are on, it starts to rain, your sprinklers turn off. Say it rained at midnight and your sprinklers are supposed to come on at 5 in the morning, you don't have to run downstairs in your pajamas to turn it off. It'll automatically interrupt the watering cycle, keep it off for two or three days so that it gives you a convenient time to go down and turn your controller to off. I'll show you a couple little things here about the rain sensor itself before we install it. The rain sensor is actually composed of a stack of little felt wafers in here. When the rain comes in through the top, you get about a quarter of an inch, it'll swell those little wafers up and it'll depress a switch which interrupts the electrical current going from your controller out to the valves in your irrigation. You want to close that down almost to the end so that it'll stay wet, it won't dry out quite as quick and it'll keep your controller in the off mode for three to four days. Before you install this on your roof, you can test it. There's a little push up button right in here. Once it's wired in, you want to turn your controller on to see the water come on. You push the button down and hold it. That will depress that on off switch. Your sprinklers will shut off, let it go. The sprinklers will come back on. You know you have it wired properly and it's going to work the next time it rains. The rain sensor is a very easy device to install. It has two wires. That's all that you need to connect to your controller. There's no polarity, so there's no shock. You can connect the red wire first and then the black, or the black wire and then the red. It really doesn't matter. You're going to open the front of your controller face. You're going to look for the jumper wire. Sometimes it's yellow. This one's black. And underneath, it'll usually say sensor sensor, or it'll say RSRS for rain sensor. Use your little screwdriver to remove that jumper wire. Then you'll replace that jumper wire with one of the rain sensor wires in one port, the other rain sensor wire in the other port. That's all there is to it. Your rain sensor is ready to roll. We've got it on manual. The sprinklers are on. So, and you can see on here, my sensor is active. When I push the buttons down, the red light goes to red, and my sprinklers turned off. It's assuming it rained. Release it, goes back to green light, the sprinklers come back on, the electricity is running through this, and it's running again. One last bit of advice, when you install this, you don't want to put it under the eaves. You don't want to put it under trees. It needs to actually be in the rain so that it has a clear shot facing up. I have had people install it upside down so the rain would run out, but that's not the way it goes. So, easy to do, run it through the hole. Attach it through those two sensor terminals. Take your wire, run it up. I would put it on the outside of my patio, but depending on your house, you'll have to see what's the easiest way to get to. For more information about water conservation, irrigation efficiencies, and rain shut off sensors, visit us at santabarbaraca.gov forward slash waterwise.